Uh, and so that is our goal, to maximize the recovery for this family. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us for Way 31 News at 4. I'm Dan Schaefer. Marie Waxel has the evening off. Team coverage today from Decatur. The family of Steve Perkins made good on their promise and filed a lawsuit over his police shooting death. New at 4, we're looking into the family's expectations for that lawsuit, as well as the revelations of the officers' names in today's court filing. Hey, hey. We begin with Way 31's Paige Meyer. Paige, you're live in Decatur at the police department there. I know up until this point, we have not been told the names of these officers. Dan, that's right. The names of these officers are something protesters have been asking for for months. Now, but today, the Perkins family filed a lawsuit against the officers they say are responsible for Steve Perkins' death. Now, if you take a look at your screen here, these are the four officers named in that lawsuit. Bailey Marquette, Christopher McAdam, Joey Williams and Vance Summers. Now, the suit alleges these officers violated Perkins federal civil rights. Now, Decatur PD has not been able to confirm yet whether these are the officers who shot and killed Steve Perkins. If you recall, just last week, the city terminated three officers and suspended the fourth. Now, the officers have until Thursday this week to file an appeal. Now, I did ask Decatur City Attorney Decatur City Attorney Herman Marks about the lawsuit, and he says the city has not yet received it. Marks says when they do, they will review it and respond to it timely. Now, as of right now, Marks tells me that he is unaware of any officers appealing the city's discipline for violating policies. But I will be following this story and provide any updates as I get them, both on air and online at waytv.com. Reporting live in Decatur with coverage you can count on. Paige Meyer. Wait, 31 News. Thank you, Paige. The Perkins family laid out their expectations for their civil rights lawsuit. They say it's all about ensuring something like this does not happen again. Our team coverage continues now with Way 31's Jillian Kay. Jillian, you're live outside the legal office of an attorney you spoke with today. This could be very expensive for a lot of people. Hey, Dan, I've spent the day looking deeper into this 18-page lawsuit filed by Steve Perkins' wife, and one legal expert tells me that the Steve Perkins family may have just found a loophole. Now, the Alabama law code says when suing a municipality like the city of Decatur, you can only receive up to $100,000 in legal reparations. But in this case, the wife of Steve Perkins is suing many different people, including the city of Decatur, the officers involved, the tow truck driver and company, and even Steve Perkins Bank for their alleged connection to the tow truck company. Now, one legal expert says that $100,000 limit can be passed when more than one person is involved. They're obviously asking for monetary damages, but as I read the complaint, they're also asking for change. They're, they're asking that the city of Decatur uh, make some changes to their policies and procedures so something like what happened to Mr. Perkins doesn't happen again. He says this case could take especially long because there is a possibility of the officers involved being charged criminally if they plead guilty in court. And now he also tells me that every case is different, especially, and you cannot put a capped price of $100,000 on someone's life or anyone's life. I'm live in Huntsville with coverage you can count on. Jillian Kay, Way 31 News.